Morning. 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 Mike, David Moore, Dallas Morning News. You, you mentioned before, really going back to OTAs, about you're just impressed by the approach of this rookie class. And, uh, having spent a camp with them now, near the end here, overall, how has this class performed, and, and is it kind of set up to give you as much contribution as deep as uh, any class you've had? Before? Yes, definitely. Uh, very mature uh, rookie class. I mean, you can see that right away. Just in their their approach and uh, their ability to communicate individually and really as a whole, you know, you, you always try to spend um, some group time, individual time uh, with your rookie classes. And uh, I've been so impressed with this with this particular group. Um, and yes, definitely, I, I think it's uh, apparent that these guys will definitely contribute um, early and often to to our success. Is it, does it look unusual just from a depth standpoint of so many guys in this class being able to? step in unusual um no I, I think it's you know part of our design of our roster right now and and um you know i've been been through this uh, so many times i you know we talk numbers you know there's 22 to 25 percent of your football team that that changes your roster every single year and, and obviously the bulk of that is your rookie class so now uh how much impact they'll have as far as you know play time in the regular season games, you know, there's always variance in that. Uh, so, but yeah, we look for this group to to have an impact. Clarence, Hill, Football Star Telegram. This is the longest time the Cowboys have been out here for training camp. Well, why did you want to be out here so long, and what's the benefits of being out? We like being about out here. A uh, lot, lot of factors. Uh, you know, number one, the weather um, and, and the opportunity to train for another week in it in this climate. Uh, I think it's very, very important. Um, so, you know, the, the week back is always an adjustment. So in the other factor was the bye week layout, you know, just the way it's laid out um, just with the, you know, the, the, only the three days of practice and how you have to practice. It's regulated. Um, I'd rather do that uh, uh, the, the week we return than a week early. So because it's because it's you're on an adjustment schedule anyways, um, and, you know, and plus we have to be indoors, you know, the week we go back, obviously because of the transaction, you know, transition from um, the weather here to, to Dallas. So, I mean, all, all those factors are involved and, and I think really the straw that broke the back was the, was the opportunity to hang out with the media for another week. So, I mean, that was, that, that's really pushed it over the top. Uh, Mike, Todd Archer with ESPN. Uh, last year, the last game, he had Dak Call plays. Is it something you would consider again this year or with Trey and wanting to get him as much work between you and him? Was that yeah, it's definitely part of the conversation. So, um, but you know, I, I think like a lot of things, you know, when when I do talk about our quarterback room, I'm, I'm I mean it wholeheartedly. It's a, it's a group that's, that's very very tight. Uh, we spend a tremendous amount of time together. Um, so, you know, I, you know, we feel like we're all on the same page. But yeah, that's something that when we get to the end of the week, we'll you know I'll have an answer for you. What's the benefit of having that you felt last year and having Dak do that? Just to see the game from another another yeah definitely uh, I think it's a great experience for quarterbacks I've done it for quite some time I think it's a great experience for your for your offensive coordinator if you know if he hasn't called a game you know Brian obviously has called you know uh, you know decades worth worth of game so but I mean, yeah I think there's there's all other benefits to it but I think it also illustrates that the ability for the quarterback the play caller the quarterback room uh, just you know you, you guys are normally on the same page you know so um i, I think it's uh it's important to, to have it established john michelle with the athletic with uh, brandon cooks and overshown working on the cords yesterday is that the same plan today uh overshown who's the first name uh, brandon cooks brandon cooks um yeah Br yeah uh, Brandon won't be working today. Actually, uh, Brandon, um, he, he left this morning for, for personal reasons. He, everything's good. It's a good thing. So um, he'll, he'll be, he'll be, he won't practice today or tomorrow. Um, and then Demo, yeah, we'll see how he warms up uh, is the plan for him today. And then with a guy like TJ Bass playing tackle in college, and then you guys have used him as, as a guard in the center. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what the value of a player like that could bring as, as one of your top reserves? Well, I, th I think you've, you've already stated. I mean, number one, a position flex. Um, and I think uh, number two for TJ is just the fact that, you know, look at all the experience that he was able to, to get last year. I mean, really coming right out of the gate. Uh, you know, Zach Martin, I don't think, played in the fourth quarter in three out of the first four games. So, I mean, it's just just to get that kind of experience for, for your younger players is important so you know position flex he looks very very comfortable in there at the guard position so had a lot of reps there obviously with the you know with the plan we have in place for zach 
and um, I think he's progressed nicely, you know, as far as his his limited work at the center position. Kyle Watkins, Dallas Morning News. Uh, you got a lot of changes along the defensive lines. You got two padded practices in the preseason game. How vital is this week going to be for you to find that team? Yeah, I definitely feel feel what you're saying because uh, you know, fr frankly, it's something that we've expressed. But you know, we, we really, you know, we have we, these are these are our two final practices uh, in pads out here. So these these are very important uh, practices. You know, it's frankly something that was echoed uh, today in the team meeting. Uh, but you know, I, I don't want to overreact to it either. I, I think we got to be smart and um, you know make sure that you know we rep him properly. So uh, we'll. He's going to go individual today. You know, get him in the pads, and, and we'll see. We'll see where he is, and and uh, let, let our strength coaches, position coaches, and and uh, Brett Brown. Let's all get a handle on it. Then we'll reconvene tonight and have a good plan for him tomorrow. Oh, Clark, uh, Demon Clark. Yeah. Did he go today, or is he? Uh, right now, he's scheduled to be in the rehab group. Yeah. So I saw the athletic Mike. Uh, Outside of the quarterback position, how do you go about identifying leaders and allocating re leadership roles along, around your roster? Well, I think the the leadership role, um, you know, uh, you know, a lot of times, and and I think the most effective is the organic approach, you know, within the locker room, and I, and you know, obviously what you do on the field, you know, it brings credibility and fuel to that. So, uh, yeah, I, I I think that when you try to assign leadership, um, it it doesn't, you know, it, it may not carry the the, the long-term uh, weight that you that you're looking for. So, uh, but yes, we, we have a leadership council that we'll we'll, we'll finalize at the end of camp. Uh, so we, we do things. That's why to me you have group dynamic opportunities. Uh, we have uh, really um, invested more into outsourcing in, in education um, to to pr promote you know, the development of everybody's toolbox in the area of leadership. So I think you you know you integrate that. I. I I, I, I've never been one to, you know, assign it. You know, I, I think it sometimes it naturally comes to a position like a quarterback, and they, you know, you assume this guy has to be the, the vocal leader in the locker room. And, and the reality of it is, you know, that's that's why the, the, everybody having their own personality and the expression expression of their personality and how it all fits together. The or, the, the organic connection is real where the real stuff comes from. Do you think that it's also a learned thing as well, where people learn how to become leaders, or is it an inherent? Well, you definitely can educate yourself and and help develop your leadership skills. No question. Mike Ducey, Fox Four. As you move into another week without CD Lamb here, how is your level of concern increased, given the fact that this drags on and you're doing so much important work without an important player being here? Well, I think just like anything, you, you have to have a plan. Uh, and, you know, and it's it's something that we reconvene every single night, you know, uh, first as a staff and and, and more so uh, myself and the coordinator. So, yeah, yeah, we, you know, we have we have a plan to, to work, you know, each and every day. So and and we make those adjustments accordingly. So and uh, when CD does come back, we'll we'll, we'll adjust and and uh, make sure that we're ready to go. You know, but right now we're we're preparing the other guys. Nick Harris, DallasCowboys.com. Uh, Ryan Flanoy had that touchdown in the preseason game. What's been your evaluation of him at camp? Oh, I just think he's a young man that gets better with every opportunity. Obviously, he had the injury, missed some time. I uh, just love the way he bounced back. You can see the confidence from week one to week two. Uh, he took a huge step. I uh, love his physicality. Um, you know, run blocking and you know uh, finish was exceptional, but obviously he had the the big play there, and I, I think he's, he's you know has shown uh, the ability to do some nice things on special teams. So I, I thought he had a, a good night out there in Vegas. Uh, Aaron Kazan is Lone Star Live. <clears throat> you mentioned you're preparing the other guys without CD here. How would you evaluate Jalen Brooks and, and Jalen Tol Tolbert? And their sort of readiness to, to yeah I think they're, they're young guys that you know you're they're doing exactly what you're looking for and it didn't just start once we you know arrived in California uh, both those guys have grown uh, immensely uh, throughout the offseason program uh, put in the extra time with Dak I mean I don't know too many external throwing sessions where those two weren't involved so uh, and that and that's and that's what it takes in today's climate of the NFL you know your, your quarterbacks and perimeter players have to work away from the facility so uh, I've saw those guys make gains through that I thought they did a really good job preparing themselves for camp um, with the extra work that they've put in and I think it's clearly showed uh, that those two guys have have performed at a pretty consistent basis and um, I feel I'm very confident in both both JT's Sorry.
JT and JB, excuse me. Uh, Phillips let us know yesterday he plays primarily three technique. And can you just talk about the rotation inside? And, and you got, on paper, three young guys that are playing in those positions. Can you talk about those? Yeah, guys? I think the biggest thing is is opportunity, you know, and, and, and obviously I, I get what you're asking, but, it's, you know, how we're going to play and, and get into that in the big picture, uh, you know, this is really in the time to discuss that. But yeah, I, you know, with the, with the noses and those you know young guys having a chance to play some three, I think is is a good experience for them. So, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is 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 the play time and in, in, in the in the rotation of those three guys, and you you see how the numbers you know panned out the other night. So, um, you know, you you prefer to have four young guys in there in a preseason game, but I, I think it's great work for those guys. Thank you. Thanks.